What do you do for a living? I work in the real estate business. How many properties do you sell per year? Approximately a couple hundred. A couple of hundred properties you are selling. What do you study? I'm a student. I study astrophysics. Wow, such a glamorous study. <laughs> How much money are you going to spend for your entire trip here? Maybe 1,000. Who is covering your expenses? My parents. But do you know, after graduation and starting a work, how much salary you can make per month? For my graduation, it's kind of difficult because uh, I'm uh, specializing for video games and uh, products for video games, uh, game design. Till what age you want to live with your parents? When I enter the fashion world. How many times per week you go for partying? Twice or three times a week. How much money you spend each time? A lot of money. Reach that. How do you invest your money? In a real estate. How many properties do you have? You are a millionaire. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? My name is Hannah, I'm 20, and I'm from the US. My name is Lillian, I'm 22, and I'm from Germany. What do you do for a living? I'm a student. What do you study? It's like business and IT combined. Okay, you will be a sales rep or technology? Yeah, kind of. How about you, what do you study or what do you do for a living? I'm a student, I study astrophysics. Astrophysics? Wow, such a glamorous study. <laughs> what do you want to do in the future? Engineering, <laughs> so a little bit on the wrong track for it. but. Okay. Yep. Do you have a goal that you want to study? study your this field and then jump to the industry in which company? I don't know yet. Maybe Elon so. Musk company? We'll see. Okay. Depends <laughs> on where I go, yeah. Right, <laughs> so. yeah. In which year you are at the moment? I'm going on my last year. And you don't have any plan what you want to do, yes? No. Where to start or what to do? No. Nope. But at the moment you don't work? Nope. How do you cover your expenses for coming to Venice? Uh, well, it's a school program, so my parents were thankful, you know, got them to help me out, but I also <laughs> had some family members help me. No. So you are from Germany, you live in Germany and you study there, yeah? Yes. But you don't work? I do work like on the side, but... What type of job is it? It's more like answering calls. Answering calls? <laughs> yeah. In, in what sense? I'm calling, um, I'm working for a company that uh, works with like energy, like renewable energy and that kind of stuff. Renewable but energy? Yeah. So being in your position, how much can we make per month or per year? I would rather not answer about that. Can you give us a range, six figure? It's not much, it's just a student. <laughs> job so hmm. it's just all right how do you cover up your expenses for coming to venice i save some money so you cover all your expenses by yourself yeah most of them yeah. well nice for people want to start in your study field what advice you would give to them take a lot of computer science and math classes because mm -hmm. they don't really tell you you'd need those a lot if you want to start your business in that industry mm -hmm. i think it's possible yes you can do it yeah. yeah are you learning anything from the school from the university what they teach you that you can start setting up your business in that field or you don't learn anything if you take the classes for it they definitely do but mm -hmm. for me um not really as much they kind of emphasize you want to go to grad school that's way more what they want you to do people younger than you what financial or personal development advice you would give to them save as early as you can get a job as soon as you can i, I do work a student job at mm -hmm. school so i save a little bit but great sorry. advice oh, thank you very much and your opinion people want to start business and communication in it field what advice you would give to them i think it's a good field to work in or yeah, maybe yeah. have like some opportunities later i'm only at the beginning so i can really give like a good advice to anybody who but how about the personal development and financial advice? Um, because you have saving, you are covering your expenses for coming here. It means you are good at managing your money. Yeah, you just have to save money and try to work on the side if you mm -hmm. can. I mean, I'm still living at home, so I don't have to like pay for it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Enjoy your holiday. <laughs> That's good. So Amazing. Take care. <laughs> Your name, age, and where are you from? Uh, I'm Timo, I'm 20, uh, 23 and I'm from Germany. I'm Pia, I'm 22 and I'm from Germany as well. What do you do for a living? I work in the real estate business. Real estate business? You're an agent? Yeah, I'm working for a company. So you are good at selling? Well, hopefully. How many properties do you sell per year? Approximately a couple hundred. A couple of hundred properties you are selling? Yeah, the company. No, 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 about you? Probably 15 to 20. Really? 15 to 20 properties you are selling per year? Yeah. Nice. For how long you are in the industry? Three years, I think. It means you are good at selling. Yeah. So what is the secret sauce of your selling skills? I think you have to be nice and uh, be really patient with the people and show them a lot of different objects. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's just about... Um, showing people what they're searching for. Great advice. How about you? What do you do for a living? Um, I'm working at the bank. So um, I'm helping people with their financial mm -hmm. advice, um, doing financial advices and something like this. Yeah. So it means like you have a client, they are asking financial advice, you are giving a financial advice to them to buy a property from your 
girlfriend? <laughs> She's your girlfriend? Yeah. That's wow. my girlfriend. So this is like a family business you are building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how long you are working in the bank? For about three years now. Okay. Yeah. Best piece of financial advice you ever received in your entire life or career? Save your money properly. Do it wisely. You only spend money if you can afford it twice. People starting in real estate, but they don't have that much skills. They have some trainings, but they don't know how to sell properly, how to sell to the people, what should they do as a newbie in the industry? Probably find someone who's already part of the industry, they can give them um, advice that they collected while working there. So it's just about starting and then you eventually get into it. So let's say that I'm a real estate agent and it's been like a two months I have started. I have clients, they are looking for uh, properties. Uh, I sent them some offers, but I didn't get back anything from them. Or they said that, okay, I will think about it. What should I do? You just have to get back with them. So you have to always call them, always text them. You have to keep them interested in the mm -hmm. object. And maybe if you offered something that they didn't like, that's why they didn't come back to you, you have to um, offer them something else. You just have to keep it up. Really? You have to follow up, you have to update yeah. them with different options? Yeah. But sometimes they feel that they are like, you are pushing them. Like, yeah. it's like, how you, you overcome this? Yeah, that's true you have to be careful to not overcome them but still show them that um, the object is very interesting and that it's a good pick so should we believe in bank to invest our money or save our money through bank yeah for sure so um, I think uh, my favorite part is the stock exchange. Um, so buying shares from companies and um, keeping them for a long time. That's the financial advice I would give to the people um, to save the money properly in such kind of things. How do you invest your money as a banker? Uh, I invest my money as, in shares as well, uh, in companies, uh, in companies that I trust and in companies I can see a big future. Great advice and we appreciate for sharing sharing for you how do you invest your money in a property real estate or how in a real estate as well so um, we buy houses and mm -hmm. rent them out to other people and um, then you collect the rent and make profit off and how old are you you said 22 22 you already a business owner i would call even you are renting and you are doing airbnb it's a business yes yeah we have about 15 apartments mm -hmm. that are rented currently so it's pretty good you are a millionaire mm -hmm. Not yet. My family. My family no. uh, bought the houses and then I kind of got into the business. So they are also into real estate. Yeah. This is the family company you are working? No, I'm working for a different company, mm -hmm. but my parents do it part time beside their normal job. How much can we make in your position doing what you do per year? Because you sell 15, 20 properties per year. It depends on what kind of property you get a profit off of mm -hmm. each one, depending on how much it is. But I think it depends on the company I can really give. A current number. Is that like a six figure per year you make? Mm -mm, I think it's less. I'm still learning, so I'm not like the... You are still learning, but selling 15, 20 properties yeah. per year. But you're still learning in the company. There's always a position to go mm. up to, so... Well, nice. And what's the best piece of financial advice you would give for people early 20s? I think buying properties pretty early is good because they are high in value. The chances mm -hmm. of them losing value is really low and you can always rent them out on Airbnb or anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So basically you can use it for everything. You can live there if you want to, but if you don't, then you can just rent it out and make profit. Good. How many properties do you have your own? Three houses. Three houses you have? Three properties, yeah, mm -hmm. beside each other. How about you? You are also investing your money beside like a stock shares to property or no? No. I'm not um, saving my, um, the only thing I'm saving my money in is uh, stock mm -hmm. shares. So, so my family got some houses, but uh, I don't have a house. Coming to Venice, covering all your expenses, you pay by yourself? You ask from your parents also? No, uh, um, we are paying by ourselves. Thank you very much. Good luck on your career. Thank I you. appreciate it. Enjoy for interviewing you. It was great. Your name, age, and where are you from? I'm Rodina, I'm 17, and I'm from Bulgaria. Emma, 17, from Bulgaria. Dorotea, 17. Anna, 17. What are you doing in Venice? We are here from school with our teachers. It's like a summer school or what? No, uh, no like a vacation. Why you are studying or what you are studying? We are all studying in a language school. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, learning German because we want to have many opportunities in our future. How about you? Why do you study German language? What opportunities you will receive after finishing your language courses? Better education mm -hmm. and yes, that's it. That's the only the reason? Yeah. How much money are you going to spend for your entire trip here? I don't know, maybe 1000 Who is covering your expenses? <laughs> My parents. You don't work? 
not right now, but next summer. What do you want to do in the future? I'd like to get an, a good education and then a job. If you don't have education, can you find a job easily? No. Why not? not? Because without education you can't do pretty much anything. Yes. So education is important? Yes, very important. Well, nice. What do you want to do in the future? I'm not sure yet. Why I'm... do you study? Because studying is very important. You really can't do anything in this time and age anymore without a proper education. I just got confused a little bit because you are from Bulgaria. You came to Venice for studying German. No, we're here just for a trip. Okay. We're not here to study, we're here to relax and wow. have fun. Do you have any business ideas to start in the future? Maybe, but I won't tell you because they're a secret. Okay, it's a secret. Yeah. You don't want to share with us? Yes, absolutely. That's, at least you have an idea you want to start, yes? Yes, of course. Okay, how about you? I was thinking about it, but I'm not sure yet. What do you need for starting your own business? Enough money. How much money you need? It depends on the business. Uh, you don't have any business model. You just think that you will start a business in the future, but you don't know what is this. I know, but I don't know how much money I'll need. Do your own research the next time. If I find you, okay. for sure I will interview you as a business owner. Come in Bulgaria to find us. Definitely, yeah, I will visit one day. People in your age, what advice you would give to them? That they really need to take care of themselves and, mm -hmm. yeah, enjoy life. Uh, how do you enjoy your life? Go out with friends, party, have fun with them, mm -hmm. explore new places, and that's it. Travel. Yeah, travel. Actually. How many times per week you go for partying? <laughs> because the idea came from you partying. <laughs> Twice or three times a week. <laughs> wow! How much money you spend each time? A lot of money. In Bulgaria, we are like always partying. You you just always partying. You don't care about anything. Yeah. You just party, yeah. Yeah. Yes. But who is covering your expenses? Your mom and your parents? Oh yes. <laughs> you don't work. Yes. Is it normal? For me, yes. And you, your family has a business? No. No. They don't have business. They are just working nine to five and paying your all bills, all expenses. Yes. Yes, but my father is working abroad. He's working in America, so. Reach that. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Who is covering your expenses? My mom and dad. They have business. Yes, my dad has. Okay. What type of business? Well, he's renting apartments in Varna. Mm -hmm. That's a city in Bulgaria. Maybe you want to continue that business also. Yes, I want. People in your age, what advice you would give to them? Uh, it's important to study now, but also relax, have time to hang out with friends, have fun, and just balance the two things. Amazing. Thank you very much. Enjoy your trip. Take care. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. I think when it's serious is enough, let's go to Bali. Oh, come on. It's smashed to me. Let's go. Yo guys, finally I arrived to Bari in Italy. I'm gonna interview people here also to know what do they do for a living. Let's go to interview them. Your name, age, where are you from? Corina, I'm 22 and from Italy. Sara, 22, from Italy. What do you do for work? I don't work. <laughs> what do you do in life? I study fashion okay. in Rome. Great, how about you? I'm studying in Rome economics and management. So, you are good at money? So, so, I'm trying. You don't work? No. Even part time? Yeah, sometimes I'm babysitting. Babysitting? Yeah. That's good, so you are making some money from your side hustle, yes? Exactly, yeah. So, being side hustler in babysitting, how much money can we make per week or per month? Per week, 100. Besides that, how you are covering up your expenses? Let's say monthly spending or your study fees, this? I'm trying to divide everything and not spend a lot uh, for like uh, extra <laughs> alcohol uh, or parties. I prefer to spend uh, the most of my budget, essential things like... Good, uh, food, yeah? Yeah, food uh, mm -hmm. or everything that... For rent? Need. No, my parents paid for it. Right. How about you? Do you have any side hustle? You are making money? No, I don't. Uh, my parents pay for everything. When do you think is the right time to start living independently, covering up your all expenses? Till what time you want to wait? Till what age you want to live with your parents? No, I don't live with my parents. Like they are paying your expenses, yes? Yes. For how long it will continue? I think uh, another two years maybe when I finish my studies, when I enter the, the fashion world. You will be a big fashion designer. I hope so. <laughs> you have any business name in the future you want to name it? No, I don't have yet. Why you haven't started to work on it? Because that is the it, chance you can be viral right now what you are saying. Because it's um, expensive to create a new brand, especially in Italy. Who told you? The market. <laughs> don't believe to the market, to your own reason. Start working on yourself and build your brand online. You have phone, yes. so that's it. You have your beautiful face. You can stay in front of a camera, make it, work on it, 
That's it. And how old are you, you said? 22. For people, if they want to start studying in business economics or what you are studying, what advice you would give to them? I think that uh, you have uh, you have like a really interest because it sometimes could be boring, uh, like studying economics uh, subjects. So you have to be really into it. For per month, how much money you spend? Too much, I think. <laughs> I don't know, 300, 400. Is that enough for living per month three, four hundred in Bari? No, no I'm not living in Bari. Uh, where do you live? Rome. In Rome. Is it cheaper than here? No, it's expensive. It's more expensive. But how you are surviving with four hundred euros? With my parents. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible because in Italy I think it's very difficult to study and work together because university in Italy is very stressful and difficult and you have to focus a lot especially my university in Rome it's like an elite university and uh, they have like the mandatory uh, subjects that you have to attend you have to focus only on university so I'm trying to find some jobs but it's difficult to have time and energy for both of them. Good, I liked your answer. Do you have any business idea to start in the future? Yeah, something, but um, firstly I want to try different things and understand what is for me mm -hmm. and then uh, to focus uh, on um, personal projects. The most important thing is uh, to have uh, own money to invest and now I don't have. <laughs> Good luck, whatever you want to do in the future, we support you. I have to turn to you, people want to start in fashion industry uh, to study there. What advice you would give to them? I would say they really need to believe in, their, in themselves and they need to be very, I don't know, like different. Uh, they have to resaltare. Results? They have to shine uh, because it's, um, it's a hard world and um, it's not easy to find uh, a job. Why are you focusing more on finding jobs? Is it that important to find a job or what do you mean? Yes, it's important. <laughs> if you want to live, uh, you have to work. For the, some companies? For companies. Um, in Italy, it's kind of hard to, um, to be independent. Mm -hmm. So maybe you start with a company and then uh, when you make enough money you, you go independent. It's important to have a background to start uh, from something. I agree. I appreciate your answers. Good luck in the future. Thank I you. believe we will find you next time as a business owner. I a great so. fashion designer is here right now. So shout out your Instagram and people will follow you. When Maybe you will become a viral and you will become great business owner after this video. My name is... Uh, Sara Gulino underscore. Thank you. Your name, age, and where are you from? My name is Nat, 23 years old, and uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm, uh, I'm in Bari. What do you do for work? Eh? I'm a student in the University of Bari, Academia di Belle Arti. But you don't work? No, not yet. How do you cover your expenses or tuition fees? S simply live uh, with the help with my, my parents. You live with your parents? Yes. So do you have any plan to leave your parents' house and then to leave independently to start yes, working yes, or something? Yes, of, of course, uh, obviously uh, not yet. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm waiting uh, for, for work, for uh, independence and uh, for a lot of money <laughs> for, <laughs> for change house and uh, maybe country. Region. Is it hard in Bali, like people in their 20s or early teenager kinda, years, kinda. it's hard to live separately, live independently? Depends, Is it because of depends. the cost of expenses or what? Depends, uh, for a lot of reasons. For example, uh, for first uh, the family mm. and uh, the money. For me, for example, it, it's kind of hard, but not impossible. So it's uh, more difficult for others, uh, maybe uh, one more parents and uh, one work uh, for, uh, for living for entire family, because uh, it depends. For for a lot of reasons. Why don't you work? I'm course for I'm focused for uh, for the study and uh, for for university. I'm taking my time slowly because um, study and work. Uh, do you know after graduation and starting a work how much salary you can make per month? For my graduation it's kind of difficult because uh, I'm uh, specializing for video games and uh, products for video games, uh, game design. It's kind of difficult uh, for... No, it's not that hard because people already in the gaming industry or like... Not, not, not in Apulia, not, not in Bari. <laughs> no, 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 I mean it doesn't mean that you have to be in certain country or city to as make Milan, more money. Uh, as Milan, uh, for example, 
some points are aggressive for other country, but not in South Italy, not in South Italy. But living in your parents' house, still you can develop a game or you can approach for gaming companies. You can work for them remotely, maybe. It's possible, but uh, for this disponibility in, in Apulia, in Bari, it's uh, kind of difficult to search for people mm. that uh, work in the third time job of video games. It's a rare thing. <laughs> for people, if they want to start a study in your field, what advice you would give to them? In Italian, it's a, a sentence uh, that means uh, ci vuole culo. It's, <laughs> it's I mean, a lot of luck for, <laughs> for, uh, for this job, but the passion is the first things that you have. For my experience, I, I play video games since I, I was five, so it, it's a good thing, but you need a lot of luck. Thank you very much for your great advice. We appreciate it and good luck on your gaming life. <laughs> yeah guys, I'm sure you are still watching this video and I'm sure you enjoyed with this episode also. Comment below which city, which interview you liked most. Also, if you want me to make it another city or another country, comment below which country you want to see me there. As always, you are the sponsor of today's video. I see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Bye!